Hey guys, Macman here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the icon of your application to another icon to make it beautifully sexy and gorgeous. And yeah, like all the other apps do. Okay, so I'm just going to start by making a simple little quick app in Apple Script Editor. I'm just going to, so I'm just going to do on um, display dialog. Hello, like hello, that's very posh. Even though I'm not posh, I'm just I live it I live under a bridge. I don't no, I'm joking, I don't really. But okay. Buttons okay. Right. Hello No, actually just make it different. Hi. Right. The oh, no, no, no. Buttons Okay. And okay, so there's a little lap script that came out with it. It took me it took me a while, but still. I'm I'm just not an intelligent writer. Okay. Just say that is an app, so mm, call it tutorial. Is an app. Okay, as you can see, I got a new tutorial app here. It's got the default script editor icon, applet icon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to right click the app like that, and then uh, click show package contents. If you don't know how to right click, you just you hold control then left click. Yeah. Okay. Now you're gonna be in a tutorial folder inside. Go. You're gonna go contents, and then we're gonna go resources. And see, here's where the default applet icon is. See, blah blah blah. That is nice in our file. We're not gonna need that anymore, so we're just gonna kick its ass out of here. So get out of here, move to trash. I'm gonna drop in the new tutorial. Dot ICNS file. It has to be an ICNS, otherwise it won't work, and and it will slap you across your face, saying it doesn't want to work. Well, I won't do that, but I, I'm just being creative today. I don't know why. I just don't feel not. Okay. Now there's tutorial dot ICNS. We're gonna go back to here, and we're info dot playlist. If you don't have X code, you're gonna it's gonna default open with text edit. So you're gonna open it with text edit. And we're gonna have all this property list coding in it. Of the app, you're gonna look down to the part where it says CF bundle icon file. See here, where it says the CF bundle icon file. Now it's got applet. You're gonna change. That's because we deleted that icon. We're gonna delete, get rid of that, and type in tutorial. You don't need to write the ICNS, but yeah, but that's the C tutorial there. So it matches that name. We're gonna save it now, and there. Now to, we're gonna have to update your app somehow. So I'm just gonna recompile it and save it, and then see it's gonna update the app's icon to that. See now when I run it, hi, it's got this icon. Hi, see, hello, hi. Oh, it works. So yeah, that's how you can change the icon for your app and. Make it a beautiful icon. If you have PNG, I don't know if they work or not. I haven't tried it. I don't. I don't think it would work though. But yeah. If you if you have a PNG file and you want it to turn it to ICNS, I recommend use Ultra Image. Download that and use that. It will be in the description. To convert it. So yeah, I hope this helped a bit. Changing the icon for you. It might take a while to update it. On the script editor, will still be this. I just minimize it. And get it back up. No. <laughs> right click script editor. Get it back up. How dare you. It takes a while to update it. Oh, I think I know. If I just quit. Quit it. Tutorial. There we go. It works. It works. But yeah. So that's how to change the icon for your application. Yeah, just put it, in front of my, put it in front of my face like. Little window face person, like, like, hey, oh, I'm a screen. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, yeah, hope this helped a bit. I'm <clears> going <throat> your icon. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please suggest a comment on what you want me to do. And yeah, that's it. Hello, Macman out.